Hello, my name is Senator Donzella James, and I'm your state senator from the 35th Senate District of Georgia. It's my honor to represent you as we move through this legislative session. I'd like to start by sharing a quote with you from one of our most famous presidents, John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy, not to be confused with our new legislator named John F. Kennedy, although I think he's a fine person and would probably share and know that this is a very good quotation, but it's a way of life as well because we have a lot of legislators in the House and the Senate who, no matter whether you're a Republican, Democrat, Independent, we work together for the common good, especially for the best of Georgia. But this famous president, John F. Kennedy said, our most basic common link is that, is that we all inhabit this planet, we all breathe the same air, and we all cherish our children's future. There are many issues that are affecting our youth. Autism, sex trafficking, just to name a few. In fact, we've had that legislation to come before us already, and both sides of the aisle voted yes. We had 100% on votes on all, both pieces of autism legislation as well as sex trafficking. So I applaud the Senate for understanding that we must protect our children from all hurt, harm, and danger. Yes, I've advocated for legislation this time too that would require safety standards for football helmets for our little leaguers all the way through high school. Safety ratings of four and five, not one, two, or three, for those helmets, we need to make sure that they're safe. They need to be there to learn teamwork, sportsmanship, and character. So when we do pass that legislation, I think that we'll all feel good about the fact that our children are out on the field, they're enjoying the sport, and they're learning as well. I've worked with my colleagues for years to secure the passage of legislation that would assist countless children with autism. Children like Ava Bullard with the appropriate care and treatment. According to the Autism Society of America, more than one million people live with autism spectrum disorder. In Georgia, one in 84 children suffers from this con condition, including my grandson. He's five years old, and he has been diagnosed with mild autism. We have to save our children. We have to give them a chance. And so not only because it's my grandson, but because it's adversely affecting the lives and the futures of too many children. However, research indicates that early diagnosis and intervention can reduce the cost of lifelong care by two-thirds. Currently, the State Department of Public Health is working with the CDC, the Marcus Autism Center, and other organizations to create a pilot program that would reach out to children across Georgia for early diagnosis and intervention. A majority of states already have funding in place for autism. It's crucial that Georgia is one on the right side of history. Let's pass that bill. Another issue that I'm fighting against is the horrible victimization of our young boys and girls. Unfortunately, our state is facing the horrific issue of child sex trafficking. I'm committed to doing all I can to stop this horrible victimization of these Georgia boys and girls from bringing awareness to the safe haven harbors for sexually exploited children fund 
to working with legislators such as Senator Utterman and others to protect our innocent children and teens from this abuse. You know, many years ago, I introduced legislation, and in 2002, we passed the Child Sexual Commerce Act. It makes it a felony to pimp or pander our children. Yes, those who go and buy sex are just as guilty as those who put those children out on the street corners. These evil predators must be stopped. We must educate the public about this devastating reality of child sex trafficking in our state and fight to provide the necessary resources to fight these crimes more effectively. You see, the Child Sexual Commerce Act of 2002 passed. It made it a felony uh, to pimp a pen to these children, and it kept the pimps from just getting a little tap on the wrist and paying a little fine and getting back on the streets. But it's still not enough because now we have international sex trade and it's happening right here in the state of Georgia with our international airport. So we have a lot of work to do to rescue the children. So I will not rest until we fully address these grave issues that are facing our most vulnerable citizens the children of this great state of Georgia. I want to take a moment to speak to the children with the words of Langston Hughes' poem, Mother to Son, because we have so many kids that don't, don't understand and they just kind of give up and give in. But listen to the words here in Black History Month of a great poet, his name, Langston Hughes, and he said, well, son, I'll tell you, Life for me ain't been no crystal stair. It had tacks in it and splinters and boards torn up and places with no carpet on the floor. Bare. But all the time I've been a climbing and reaching landings and turning corners and sometimes going in the dark where there ain't been no light. So boy, don't you turn your back. Don't you sit down on your steps. Because life for me ain't been no crystal stair. Yes, you got to keep on climbing. Don't stop. Take a breath, yes, but don't stop. Because you can do it, young people. You can do it. And to all of my constituents, it's truly an honor to serve you. If there's ever anything that I can do for you and be of service to you in any way, don't hesitate to contact me. You can write me, email me, call me. And you know what? If I miss your call, I will call you back because I'm your state senator. Here in God's country, I'm honored and privileged to serve. Thank you, God bless you, and let's get some of these bills passed in this 153rd legislative session. Thank you.